I'm not going to be able to see the chat. I can see. I can see it there. Am I like right side up? Yeah, this is uh, actually bind. Well, I saw that. I saw it go. Oh, you mean like me moving? Oh. Yeah. Oh well. I'm not too bad. Yay! <laughs> Hello. I did it! Hi, Annie! Should I take these off? It's like a wicked glare. Yeah. I won't be able to, no, I won't be able to read. Sorry, you guys are going to get glare because <laughs> I can't see. I know, right? First ever life. <sighs> it's hot in here. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Sorry if I'm squinting. I don't even know if you can tell if I'm squinting or not. Hi, Tina. Hi, 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 Mary. Holy crap. <laughs> so I thought I would turn this into um, like a plant haul because I thought that would be kind of fun. And, um, and then we can kind of like talk and look at plants and chit chat and all yeah. that fun jazz. Yeah. Am I, am I, okay, we're good. Right? I did say plant haul. Such a plant haul. So I actually went with um, my friend Paula, who you, who you guys hear me talk about like all the time. And we, um, I also met uh, Tammy. I'm not sure if you guys, she, she's got a huge Instagram channel. Uh, Tammy with the good plants. If you haven't, um, seen their accounts yet check them out I'll throw them down like later um, but yeah so hey, Nicole. <laughs> um, I met Tammy for the first time and we went to plant shopping today and oh boy did I plant shop today <laughs> like a little like overboard plant shop maybe just a little bit so guys it's Jordan's birthday today <laughs> everybody say happy birthday He's an old fart. <laughs> it's going really fast. What did Peanuts Plant say? Right there. I, can you read it? I can't. Oh, hey, Nikki, you just mixed up hair color and just going to be listening for a bit. I'll comment some more once I get this color on. Great hair problems. <laughs> Sounds good. No Thank worries. you, everybody, for happy birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are kind of like going right over Jordan's face on our screen. So, sorry, babe. That's right. <laughs> You're the better looking one anyway. Aww. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell it like it is. Just tell it like it is. Aw, thanks, Mary. At least we act it. Thank you. Thank we you. definitely do not act our age. No, not even a little bit. Like ever. And it's, you know. Don't want to act my age. <laughs> Don't want to act your age either. <laughs> well, you can't, what? No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's like, oh, you can't beat me on camera. No, I can't. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you this first plant because, okay, so I had one of these, but it was like really small. And I mean, it's cute and, and whatever, but like I Thank saw... You, Renee. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I, feel rude for I saw this. <laughs> I saw this one today, and I was like, "Ooh, girl, I got to get it." Check this out. Now, there you go. Look at all them little turtles. They're so cute. So I have that right. I know. I know. I have that small little orange pot. Um, if you guys have seen that one. But this one is like super, super full and it's adorable. And it was $16.99. So I had to pick that up because I thought that was a screaming deal. And it's actually quite heavy. There's a lot of little turtles in that pot. <laughs> it's 
what would it usually go for? That's um, I don't know. Like when I bought the other one, I think I paid like eleven ninety nine, and it literally was like tiny, 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 tiny. Yeah. Hi! They scare you. Oh, how come? Is Nicole answering? Yeah, yeah you want to keep on looking. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Nicole, why do they scare you? Sorry, I'm trying to like work this out. <laughs> I think Mary said that theirs are $5.98. Five ninety. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so because you killed it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Like, who else from Canada? Is anybody in here from Canada? Show of hands. Wave the flag. Hi, Casey. Toronto! <laughs> so we have established that Toronto. plants in Canada are so much more expensive. Um, so I always use the Syngonium Albo. So how much would you guys pay for an Albo like uh, where you're at? Ivy, what are you doing? Okay. Hi, Casey. My name's Casey. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy. What are you doing? So a Syngonium Albo, like, oh, can you guys see it? Yeah, you can. It's right here. So like up there or down there, sorry. Um, I've I've seen videos where plant YouTubers cost. <laughs> Hi, Stasia. <laughs> um, would pay like twenty, thirty dollars. Is that accurate? Because I think I've seen ones picked up down there for like cheap, cheap. What was that one? Not twenty or thirty dollars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a lot of these plants. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Twenty, thirty. Okay, so I did not pay twenty or thirty dollars for this one, and when I bought this one, it had I, I believe it was three leaves, and I played close to a hundred for it. So. <laughs> But everything up here is more expensive. I don't know if it's just because it takes, you've got to get them up here and it's harder to grow because of our seasons and I don't even know what it is. But, um, yeah. <laughs> right? I know. So like the plants that I have, I really, really treasure because they're not easily replaced. <laughs> because sometimes we have to go hungry. <laughs> so we treasure them we haven't we haven't had to not eat yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> so far <laughs> the season has ended so wait till the season starts up again there'll probably be a couple nights like yeah we don't really need to eat tonight i mean you know <laughs> nicole i'm totally down worst case scenario we can meet somewhere at the border and you can just like throw them over because i don't know if i can get them across the border or vice versa so if, if you've got a really good arm i've got a baseball glove I'm a pretty good catch. <laughs> Apparently the border guards are a pretty good catch too. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll find somewhere where they can't see us. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing comments here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to catch up on comments. Um, where are we here? Annie's from Toronto. Jacqueline's from New York. Nice. Nicole's from Chicago. I love Nicole's accent. It's so cute. <laughs> Illinois. Mary's in Texas. Awesome. Wow. Everywhere. I bought my first Alocasia Poly. Oh, hi, Tammy. Uh, I bought my first Alocasia Poly yesterday because of you. Oh, aw, thanks. Good luck with it. <laughs> Mine got thrips and almost died. Like, I had no leaves left. None. And it was outside for, like, three days. Which one's that? My poly. The one that has one leaf left in there. Oh, that. And it was nothing. I thought it was going to die. It was gone for. And um, I decided to bring it back inside because I felt guilty. Cut it right down to nothing. And I was I threw it in my greenhouse. 
sprayed the crap out of it and crossed my fingers <laughs> and prayed that it would do something. And lo and behold, there's a leaf. It grew a new leaf. So I'm super excited about that. It's not quite like come out and meet the world kind of ready yet, but no, still in quarantine. <laughs> we're getting there. Um, what else have we got here? Someone's getting arrested. <laughs> How do you guys that do this regularly like keep up with the comments? This is crazy. Um, everyone says I have an accent. I don't hear it. We hear it. That's the same way that I don't think we have an accent. Like, I don't care what you guys say. I don't say a boot. That doesn't even sound right coming out of my face. No. A boot. A boot. A boot. No dude a boot it. <laughs> that sounds natural, doesn't it? It just rolls off. New dude to boot it. Yeah, we don't say that. Only a hoser brings a toot to a poutine kerfuffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> There's Pam. A boot. I don't say a boot. No. And if you want to find igloos, you got to go to the far north. Of yeah. Canada, like none of it, where we don't want none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, if you keep on the comments. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next plant. So this next plant was on my in my wish list video. If you guys saw that video, um, I could actually probably make about three more of those videos. But then I just seem greedy. I just want like all the plants. <laughs> if I could just get like all the plants. We need to move. Yeah. We were asked if we have a Canadian tuxedo. Is that the red plaid lumberjack style <laughs> we coat? Call, we call those our Bancroft dinner jackets. Bancroft yeah. is like a city like up north. Um, and, you know, they're a little more laid back and relaxed. So we call the plaid coats like a, a Bancroft dinner jacket. Because that's about as dressy as you get. <laughs> I don't have the jacket. I have a shirt that's red plaid. I also have a shirt that's blue plaid. We need to get you one of those. Yeah, they sell them at Marks for like 30, 40 bucks or something. Yeah. It'd be easy to get one. Okay, so you guys ready for this next one? Because I was really excited about it. Mm, a, a boot. If you, no. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole no Ann. <laughs> no boots here. There's not even shoes. <laughs> Let's, look at them all. A boot. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends. Okay. <laughs> a boot. Okay, tell us I a love boot you this, too. Tell us a boot this plant. Okay, I will tell you about this plant. See, it just sounds dumb. Okay. Ooh. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw this guy today. I couldn't contain myself. I wanted to wait so that I could show you here, but I just couldn't. Um, so this is a plant that was gifted to me by um, a, an amazing lady named Brenda. And her Instagram is Lover of Plants Canada. And she is such a sweet, sweet lady. And, uh, yeah, look at that. I know the light's kind of, but the backs of the leaves, oh, it's so pretty. I have a boot and then another, I call them a <laughs> Oh, Jacqueline's got jokes. Girl's got jokes. Yeah, so that is, uh, who, does anybody have one? Because I don't know how to take care of this, so, you know, any helpful tips would be greatly appreciated. Stacia says she has to miss hers twice a day or the leaves fall off. Really? I'm going to have to take these off. The glare is driving me mental. You're going to have to keep up with the comments. Sorry, guys. I The glare and the it was very distracting. Hold on. I'm going to readjust you. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> Whatever. I feel like... There. Now they can see you a little better. So high humidity and lots of light. Stacia. High humidity, lots of light. I hope the leaves don't fall off. So humidity is not going to be a problem. And I don't think the lighting is going to be a problem. I think we'll be good. But that's it. Do I have to prune it? Do I need to do anything special? <laughs> I don't want this guy to die. It's really cute. I um, Oh, propagating. Do you guys know how to propagate this? Because I figured it looked like you just kind of snip and then grow it from the node. Does anybody know if that's correct? Oh, what's that say? Um, 
It's not up yet? I can't read it. Clean the plant in the bathroom when you have a shower. Oh. Yeah? If you have a hot shower, there'd be lots of humidity there. What does Mary say? Uh, you can put now you can put a thing of water next to humidity loving plant. And that should be a major help. So put like a I guess like a dish of water. Got you. Like, like, kind of, my, kind of what we like did my in, Ethereum. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That'd work. All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that because uh what's that? Hi! That's Christy. Is that Christy? Is that who it was? Uh, Christy then. Yeah. This is this is hard. Yours will die. Is that Pete? Yeah. Look, Pete. Okay. Well, that's what we're trying to avoid, Peter. So the next little plant is super cute. I think, Nicole, I think you have one of these, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to like jog my memory here. But I got this guy because I think he's cool and he makes me think of like a... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Like in the movie Tremors. The Grab Boys are really called. Oh my god, it's a Tremor. <laughs> tremor. Are they sharp? Yeah, they're sharp. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm... stick your finger on. I don't poke it. Yeah, they are. No, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna put it in your mouth. Ew! I was just gonna poke you in the face with it. No, I don't want that either. Oh. Nothing about that sounds appealing he's, at all. He's not fun. <laughs> like, not no fun. Come, not when it comes to spiky cacti. It's not. Um, it's not. That's. You know, I mean, it would hurt if you poked in the face. I suppose. So he's I guess. Quite the prick. We. <laughs> Are we missing comments? You have one job. Okay. Anyway, so there's that guy. We've been told to ignore Petey. We've been told to ignore Pete? I can't see that. You keep pointing. But well, I, I can't. I, I read it. I, but I, okay. I couldn't. You just have to. Trust you? Brad says, poke his face for science. <laughs> I hate science. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Nicole, I may need your help on this one because I don't know. Okay, so on the one side here, this says prickly pear cactus collection. And then uh, bright light, low water required. Thank you. On this side, it says Puntia monocanthia. Monoacanthia, Montrose variegata. Hold on. Can you guys read that? Like, at all? Probably not. Can you? Uh, probably have to turn the light down. I don't know. So, Nicole, can you tell me what this is? Uh, it's an Apuntia, right? Chocolate says Apuntia. Is it Apuntia? That, well, there's a T there. Oh my god, it's a pickle? Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> They're really cute, though. A punches are prickly pears. Oh! Who mm -hmm. said that? Uh, Jacqueline. Cool. I didn't know that. See, I don't know. Like, I'm just getting yeah. into cacti. Nicole says she has one as well to keep it dry. Dry as popcorn? Never mind. Let's move along. I'm trying to be, like, a little bit delicate here. <laughs> okay. But that's not who you are. I, I, I try. <laughs> you gotta keep up appearances, right? Well, I guess. Okay, so this is the next plant that I got. My awesome friend, 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 Paul. My awesome friend Paula picked this up for me. It is a jewel orchid. It's really hard to see. So, will this grow the similar flower as a, I guess, a traditional orchid or what? Not really. They do flower, so they'll get this long flower spike with a okay flower at the end but it's not like your typical like when you think of an orchid um how's the comment section going there it's good it annoys me that i can't read Mary these. says don't do cactus they're painful in more than one way don't eat cactus <laughs> don't do cactus oh do <laughs> well don't eat i'm sure don't eat cactus is solid advice as well hang on low maintenance plants for the win yeah right that's okay, because hold on, we're, we're, we're working up the ladder here. Well, except for the sisters, of course. Um, okay, I'm going to show you a plant, and I actually bought this plant for Jordan for his birthday. And I'm going to pass it under the camera 
so that Jordan can show you his plant. Oh, I get to be a part of this too. Okay, but you have you have to explain what it is. Okay, go. Uh, Here, I'll get the comments. Okay, it's a plant. <laughs> it's green. Some dirt. Soil, sorry. Soil. Soil. Oh my gosh. And... Give the poor girl back her glasses. <laughs> Put your glasses on. No, I'm good now. <laughs> and it rhymes with Bing Frey. It rhymes with Bing Frey? I don't know. It's Stingray. It's, sting <laughs> it's a Alakasia? Alakasia Stingray. How cool is that? Oh, I thought these were really neat because I really like, you know, you know, like things to do with the sea, like fish. I always find that interesting, like, uh, Deep sea fish and stingrays and manta rays and stuff. I think this looks more like a manta ray because it got like the. I can't see it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it looks more like a manta ray because it's got like those. Well, I guess I'll say like horns like up here, whereas like a stingray is usually more round in the front. But I always thought this plant was really neat. So, yeah, Nikki picked this up for me. Yeah. I could take care of it. It's my first plant. I was like, I got you a plant for your birthday. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. Did you? <laughs> I was shocked because it's not something I would expect. <laughs> I said, I got myself a plant for your birthday. Oh my God, I want oh. one of those. They're really pricey here. I actually Please? picked this up for, if you can hold that up so they can see. If oh. they can see, it's $24.99. I don't know. Oh. You can't hold it too, too close because it gets fuzzy. $24.99. How much are they where you are? I'm waiting for Nicole to answer. I did get it from Vandermeer's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, normally they are. Um, I think that these 65. plants they had for quite some time. Um, mind you, even when they they first came out at Vandermeer's, I think they were still reasonably cheap. So those ones are actually pretty easy to find up here. Manny said that 1999 in Richmond. 1999. 50 it? in Chicago. I think Stacia said 65. $10 in Missouri. 9.99 in Richmond. 50 in Chicago. Just when we thought we were getting there. About a hundred here, so that's in Minnesota. Wow, it's so funny. Doesn't that drive you guys crazy? Just so we it's thought we one, were getting the good deal for once. And everybody's like, we can get it for like 20 to 10 bucks here. Yeah, <laughs> oh. but it's so weird that like one plant. And especially for you guys down there, you're all the same currency, you know what I mean? It's all worth the same. And then from Chicago to, you know, uh, Minnesota to Texas to wherever, it ranges so much. I find that so crazy. Yeah. Well, especially if one's $10 and they go into 100 it's like, how do you, what makes it $90 more? I mean, obviously, I think the size of the plant factors in there. So it's like one state getting bigger plants than another, like, you know. Because I don't know, I, th I think that's a pretty decent sized plant. Yeah, it's a good yeah. $14 to $15. Oh, hi, Mia. That's Nicole's daughter, Mia. <laughs> so exciting. I think it depends on how far. Yeah, that's very, very true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, $24.99, I think is yeah, it's I, pretty, pretty decent compared to some of the plants that have been purchased here <laughs> oh yep and i've you know purchased a couple of them so i know all right <laughs> moving on yeah <laughs> yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna move on okay so the next one i got now i've got a little one of this that i um got on etsy i think oh gosh like back in maybe june and it took a really long time to get started so and then I saw this one today and it was a really good price. I paid $9.99 for this guy and he was really full and he's dangling already. And I thought $9.99 was a pretty decent price for that. It is a four inch pot. How much would you guys pay for a four inch pot down there? Or yeah, I guess down there Was that one over here. Satin photos? Um, yeah, that's a satin photos. Comments love. What do we got? How much we got? Uh, uh, Stories and succulents says they saw a smaller one once for ten bucks. 
Not too shabby. Oh, what did Mary say? Uh, depends. They were three ninety eight here. <gasps> Jacqueline says that'd be six to eight dollars there. Stacia says she got an eight inch for fourteen ninety nine. Okay, so that seems fairly and on Nicole par. Nicole says a boot fifteen dollars. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> She's all about them boots. <laughs> about the boots, no shoes. Oh my god, what am I gonna do with you? Feed me some beer. <laughs> Feed you beer? Yeah. That's not gonna make it stop though. No, it'll probably make it worse. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, so anyways, there is that one. Jacqueline says. Hers was big and it was fifteen dollars. Wow. And Nicole says, "Ooh, beer. Yeah." <laughs> it's Guinness, actually. That's what I got right now. I Guinness. bought him. I bought him an eight pack of Guinness because it's his favorite for mm -hmm. his birthday today. It's very tasty. <laughs> All right. So the next one was really really cool, and I have a couple different varieties of this plant, but this one just looked kind of unique, and so I got it because. Why not? Um, so this is called a Bob Illusion Syngonium. I'm not sure if you've seen one before, but the leaves are quite different. They're kind of um, like wrinkly, I would say. This one's about the most normal looking leaf, but the other ones are very crinkly and weird. Does anybody have one of these? Comment some. Jack, this is Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Yeah, that's the yeah. first thing I thought of too when I thought I'm like, ah, Bob Ross. It's just a happy little accent. Happy little plant. <laughs> Roots coming out the bottom. Yeah, he's got some uh crinkly leaves that don't look like the rest. It's he's got ooh, 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 ooh. It's got long ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so anyways, that is um Bob Ross all day. Hashtag. <laughs> I know, Bob Ross is the greatest. So funny story. We went through this like phase about gosh when was that we moved here in December or last December 1st we were here for a couple months but like yeah. we like our whole family the boys and us as well went through this phase where we just watched Bob Ross videos like we'd have dinner and then we'd sit down and until bedtime watch Bobby Ray just Bob have a little trees <laughs> for <laughs> hours and it's so relaxing you're well, just like and when you watch him do it he makes it look so effortless like all you do is like oh you just do this and you Put a little color here, and you just give it a shimmy here and a shake there. And look at that, you got a mountain. Then you give it another shimmy shake down here. Look at that, you got a forest. And look at that, water and a stone. But if, if, just, if we try that, it's like a hot mess. <laughs> like yeah. It looks like a second grader painted, you know, the Mona Lisa or something. It looks like a Picasso that failed. He's the best therapy. He absolutely is. We watched it growing up, Christy says. My husband loves Bob Ross, Tammy. Everybody loves Bob. How do you not like Bob Ross? I do love that hair, though. His hair is pretty great. It's it quite really something. <laughs> um, oh, you tried, Casey? Did you go, like, I've seen, like, they have those paint nights where you have to, like, try to recreate a Bob Ross painting. You know? His hair is epic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give you this for a second because uh, I forgot to let the dog in before we sat down, so I'm just going just gonna to go let the dog in. <laughs> Keep them occupied, dear. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> why do you do this to me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep everybody, just, Keep everybody occupied. <laughs> I should have like written out some jokes or something like that. I could have like worked on a stand-up comedy bit or something. Oh lord. Yeah. That's a good... I was like, what was it? There was one I heard the other uh, yesterday. Said, why? Why do seagulls Careful, fly? There's, there's kids in there. Be careful. It's okay. Friendly. As long as it's clean. I'm just saying. <laughs> why do seagulls? What? What is? It? I'm trying to close that. Why do seagulls fly over the sea and not the bay? Because they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. <laughs> All right, that's so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you so, laughing at your own joke? 
Oh, it's not my joke, but I can't do the credit for it. But I, now I picture this bagel with wings soaring through the air. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a jalapeno cheddar? <laughs> I'm just trying to... I didn't know you wanted those brought over. That's okay, I just thought I'd bring them over too because they're kind of cute. Now oh. the dog's in my way. Is it a hand? No, I want the dog to move. <laughs> Go, Eli! <laughs> Sorry, we just got a funky setup here. Hi! Oh, yeah. Jacqueline got it. Okay. Be big. Oh. I'm back. Oh, Eli. Oh, there's a Bob Ross Chia Pet now. I think I saw that. Oh, my God. Eli Sissis. Yeah, it was, ah. a, it was a dad joke. It was actually this uh, guy was doing all these jokes with a Snapchat filter with the high-pitched voice, and they were all like these dad joke things. <laughs> they used to call those Nikki jokes back in the day because, like, I love cheesy jokes, and nobody... I'll be like, oh, my God! I just heard this funny joke. And then I'll tell it and people will be like. Pete says, are you crawling? Yeah, I was totally crawling. No. What no. about it? Pete says, my jokes are like Herman's. My, jo you... my jokes are what? Like her Herman's. Oh, yeah. What yeah, do you like... call a dog with no legs? Doesn't matter what you call him. He's not coming. <laughs> or or oh. Mushroom walks into a bar, hops up on the stool and says. Hello, bartender. I'd like a drink. The bartender says, um, yeah, sorry, but we don't serve mushrooms in here. And he's like, oh, come on. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> oh, oh. You're going to be, you better put this in there. I'm not paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not my proudest moment, but those are the kind of jokes that, <laughs> that I like because I find them hilarious. <laughs> Um, I've successfully germinated <laughs> apple seeds. Ooh. Oh, nice! It would be neat to. Grow I would love. We should like do an that. Apple tree or something. Yeah. We used to have a. Uh, when I was much younger, we used to have a mulberry tree in the <laughs> in the yard, and it was. You see, Mary's. Grabs. <laughs> That's sorry. She says, "Grabs a coffee and a tissue from laughing so hard." <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we used to have a mulberry tree in the yard, and parents used to make mulberry jam, and, you know, my brother and I would climb this tree and just pick the mulberries off and eat them when they were ripe. It was fantastic. Loved it. Yeah, we should grow some trees. That's the only problem here is that a lot of, like, fruit fruit trees that I would want to grow, I don't think you can overwinter outside, and we definitely don't have room inside to bring a fruit tree in, but I'd like to do what, like, oh, um, from Maria, she has, from Bloom and Grow Radio, she has lemony and limey, who are a lemon tree and a lime tree. They just require a lot of light, so as long as you got like a decent light, that'd be kind of cool. Well, our whole house is lights. E even the fan in the dining room there, it's got grow light bulbs in it. Yeah, I actually, all of my <laughs> lamps. Yeah, all the lamps in here now have <laughs> grow lights, the grow bulbs in them, just so if we're going to have the light on, everything's getting a little bit of extra light. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference, but... I just did it anyway because I figured it can't hurt. Yeah. Right? Like, am I right? Maybe. I don't know. Right? That's the way to do it. Thank you. Can you hold this for a sec? Okay. Is that Dusty Lori in here? Lori Crawford. Yeah. Orange sweet kumquat. Meyer lemon trees. I can't see it. It's so small. Get Miniature citrus trees would be good. See, I'm like, oh. You know, I saw, it was, uh, I don't remember what. Is your Christmas tree using glow lights, too? Or grow lights? No. no. That's a dang good idea. <laughs> Did but it come it, in strings? <laughs> but it's certainly going to next year. <laughs> Thank you. But, no, I saw, I can't remember what type of orange it was, but I saw them when we were at uh, Valley View. Is oh, I know. Here? Trent's been bothering me to yeah. get an orange tree. And it was it was tiny. It had fruit on it. And I don't know how long you have to wait to eat these things, but the <gasps> tree was like $250. Oh, I put you down. We're good. It's all right. Okay. All right. So the no next plant in. I have, I got a cutting when it, it was two leaves. And it did, like, if you go back and look at... Um, Ooh, stories and succulents said they saw a variegated pink lemon tree once. I didn't know that was a thing. That'd be pretty. <laughs> um, so 
don't know, Rick. I got a cutting. It was two leaves, and I could not get this thing to grow. If you've seen, like, past um, um, plant tours from, like, July-ish, maybe, this, <laughs> these two leaves sat in this pot, curled, like little tacos, for months, and I couldn't get them to grow. They are finally growing now, and I think there's about four leaves. But I saw this today, and I was like, yes, please. So I know you guys have these at Home Depot, like everywhere, and Lowe's, and I don't know, like grocery stores, and <laughs> wherever else you get them. But like, this came in a six inch pot, I think. And it was, what did I pay for this one? What did you pay for? I for? don't remember. <sighs> I feel like it was like $16.99. I don't remember. Does it really matter? No, it's only money. You can't take it with you. Who cares? Exactly. $16, 5000 a million. Really? <laughs> Who's really keeping track? Not me. Okay. Anyways, so I thought this was super cute. It's huge. I mean, for me, because I have this teeny tiny little one. And the leaves are huge, and he's super healthy. Are we getting comments? Well, you're talking. It's hard to... I'm not good at this. I really think you should be holding this. <laughs> but, okay. Um, I want to see all those cacti behind Jordan. Oh, there's lots of them there. Okay, we'll show you. <laughs> um... I have that pot. Oh, the gray one, Nicole? I think I got those at the dollar store. Which one? Those gray ones. Is that the ones that you mean? Aren't they Ikea? No. No? Not at my Home Depot or Lowe's. No, like, <laughs> I actually was going to do a video on what we have at Lowe's and Home Depot. <laughs> So I actually did shoot some footage going to Home Depot and Lowe's, and I think I even did like Canadian Tire and Walmart, but literally it would have been like a five minute video because there are no plants at these stores in Canada. There are like a handful, and when I say handful, I mean like five plants, and that is all. It is so sad. I'm waiting for the comments to come up and be like, what's Canadian Tire? <laughs> oh yeah yeah um oh gosh i'm missing stuff <sighs> so sorry guys i gotta catch up here i can't find them in louisiana <laughs> oh a big uh, casey says big box stores are despicable right now they're despicable here all the time always it's very disappointing because then I watch you guys down there, and you guys down there do like, well, the plant YouTubers that I've seen do these like, come shopping with me at Home Depot, or Lowe's, or wherever, and like you could literally spend like easily an hour looking at plants in Home Depot or Lowe's, and here I'd walk in and be like, that was it, let's go, <laughs> like, yeah. it's so bad. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the gardening sections and stuff like that here you know, buying topsoil or gardening tools or grass seed, stuff like that. Like, they do have um, plants, but I think the majority of them are uh, outdoor plants. You know, you put in, uh, you know, your baskets and stuff. Stuff that you wouldn't plant inside. Like, ob you'd look, obviously, I don't know, what, what are they called? The uh, perennials? Stuff like perennials and... Yeah, well, like, outdoor stuff. Their outdoor stuff is great in the spring, but as far yeah. as indoor plants... And yeah. somebody asked, um, oh, stories and succulents during Christmas time are always. No, like always. Always. Their indoor plant selection is awful. And I'm hoping that because um, being obsessed with indoor plants is becoming more socially acceptable and um, it's becoming a, a bigger thing slowly but surely in Canada, I'm hoping that some of these big box stores eventually start to see that and start to bring in more of these... Um, you know, house plants that people actually want, because I think that they would, uh, I think they would be wise to do that. Yeah. 
Well, that's the thing, though. Like, you look at some of these plants here. I mean, you think if in the States you can get them for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, or something like that, it's worth it for them to bring them in. But if the same plants here are costing, like, $60, $70, I don't know if it'll ever be worth it for places like that to bring them know. in because people, well, aren't, if people aren't buying them at... Even even yeah. some of the like more common ones, I don't mean like, you know, these philodendrons and anthurians and stuff that I have. But no. I'm just talking about like different varieties of pothos for crying out loud. We don't even have those. No, but maybe they brought them in once and they just, they didn't do well. Hindu rope from Home Depot? Who got a Hindu rope from Home Depot? Oh, Jacqueline. Ten dollars. Okay. Let me take this for a second. Go throw While up? I throw up, <laughs> I pay like, oh, this is so embarrassing after reading that. Okay, so I have this little, <laughs> it's a stick, <laughs> honestly. Actually, can you grab that? Where am I grabbing? The curly looking one there. This? No, the curly looking one. That? Yeah. Definitely curly. No, oh. that's not curly, the curly one beside it, the green one. This? Yeah. Should have just said what it was. I probably would have got it. No, probably not. Because I'm pretty sure the last time I asked you what this was, you said it was a pothos. But now I know it's a Hoya <laughs> Carnosa Compacta. Oh my god! See, had you just said, "Can you grab the Hoya Carnosa Compacta?" I would have said, "Oh, absolutely." But say you tell me the curly I was one. Trying I pointed to this. You go, "Yeah, that's it." And I go, "I reach for it." You're like, "No, the one beside." I'm like, "That's not what I pointed at." I was trying to throw your bone because I didn't want to. You know, make you look non-knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. Carnosa. Okay, anyways. <laughs> before I get myself in trouble. Compact. So there's two in here. This little guy right here. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. I paid. <laughs> See? Look at that. Woo! What? People are saying I know. Nicole. Casey. <laughs> They're waiting to see how much I paid for this stick. I paid, I, I think it was $20, plus shipping, for this. This. Like, in comparison, isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> Pizza, this is strange. <laughs> this is, he's just going to take over. He's going to take over my channel. No, no. <laughs> no. You can haggle with people at Home Depot? I don't think you can haggle with people at Home Depot here. I think the price is the price here. It'd be nice if you oh. could. Oh. Poor name. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so $20 for a Hoya stick. <laughs> Boy, that's quite okay. the stick, eh? Hoya. <laughs> has to be the right person sometimes i've got people that won't mark a plant down even if it's dying really you'd rather throw it in the garbage see that annoys me too you'd rather throw it in the garbage this is literally one breath away from dying and you're not even gonna yeah. you know bring it down a dollar or two come on now oh Lori got a hindu rope from plant arena Ooh. i would love to order from amanda she has her own store yeah yeah she just opened her own um mm -hmm. website plant arena is the bomb she is the bomb dot com bomb dot com bomb dot com the bomb diggity <laughs> okay. okay maybe you should hold okay but i oh well you can you get me a drink too sure that on my left okay you want the same thing yeah please all right okay um i ordered from amanda she wrote oh did you what did you get nicole oh i thought you were gonna get oh, me sorry. for walking by what i didn't hear no it. no <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like, um, her 
plants are so healthy. Yeah, everybody that I've seen on box a plant arena, they've always looked amazing. Nicole, I'm waiting to see what you got from Plant Arena. The suspense is killing me. Nicole, did you take a break? <laughs> Call her back, guys. Alright, while we wait for Nicole, with bated breath, I'll show you another plant. Okay. The next plant I got, um, I had one, and then I killed it. Oops. Um, so I got another one today. So this is a string of dolphins. How cute are the little dolphins? And I paid, so that is, I don't know, like a two-inch pot, I think. And I paid $9.99 for that. So keep in mind that this is Canadian prices as well. So I think that would be like, what, $13 maybe down there? $13? Is that sound about right? What's that? Uh, the equivalent, like nine, nine, so $10. I think there's about like a... Probably about like $12, $13. Yeah. Right? Um, did Nicole answer yet? Oh, there she is. Hoya Exotica. <gasps> did we just disconnect? Can you guys, I don't know what just happened. Can you guys see me okay? Am I here? Am I live? Whoo! My phone just came up with like this little ring and it was like reconnecting. I'm like, no! No! Okay. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. Hi, Ivy. Ivy's gonna come say hello. Come here. Do you see my kitty? Say hi. Oh. She's really friendly. There she is. You say hi to all the peoples? No? Staring at me. Yeah. She's like the best cat ever. She's like a dog. Ow, ow! The best cat ever. She's so good! <laughs> ow, ow! <laughs> it's like that one video of that woman who was talking about her cat. And uh, she's trying, uh, to, she's trying to sell him and the cat's attacking her oh, as she's saying he's that he's really such a great friendly. cat. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Okay. You know. Um, you know. Okay, we're good. Oh. You didn't pour um, peanuts plants would like a drink, so... You like Guinness? She share it with the class, perhaps? <laughs> Take a sip. There you go. Not too much. You gotta drive. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Another Guinness drinker. Who's drinking Guinness? Who drinks Guinness? Peanuts. Oh! Vodka and tonic? Coffee. Agreed. Well, there's always coffee in this house. <laughs> <Yeah>. Always. <clears throat> Although, I'm one of those people that if I drink coffee past, like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm, like, up all night. <laughs> like this. Like, I just can't. It's true. I just can't. Look, everybody's putting their, their, their drink orders in now. Do you see what you've done? Have we ever hit the lottery? We're going to have a house built with like this massive bar in the basement and we'll fly everybody down and I'll make them drinks. Now you've said it on this. I mean, I can't. This is on live TV. I can't retract that. That's fine. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. well, we better be winning some serious millions. Yeah. Okay. Well, the next, our lotto max is uh, 40 million. That'll do it. Coffee until bedtime. See, Heather does that. I could drink coffee. Or I don't know how. I'd be wired for sound. I'd be calling every person I knew at like 4 a.m. Be like, what are you doing? Want to hang out? Let's talk on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awful. No, I uh, I think I've drank so much coffee 
and throughout my life, I think it just ha it has no effect. Like I could drink an energy drink and just hit the bed, no problem. Okay, so um, my best friend Mel has asked me to do a succulent planter for her. Um, they do like um like a secret Santa sort of thing here, and I really hope. That nobody from her school watches my channel. Because <laughs> I'm going to give up somebody's Christmas gift. Surprise! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. So she's asked me to do a succulent planter for her um, her secret Santa. Uh, she's a teacher. So they every year they kind of like exchange gifts and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so I just got a couple different things. So, oh no. <coughs> That would be bad timing, wouldn't it? No. Yeah. So half of this string of dolphins is going to be for my spiller. Because if you watch Laura from Garden Answer, she says when you're doing a succulent arrangement, you need a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. So this is going to be my spiller. I have calf fur all over me now. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that cat was up here again. Um, this is going to give me some height. So this is a rainbow bush, uh, Portulacaria afra mediopicta. I think I actually got that right. See, that oh, nope. Once is good. So there it is. It's so pretty. Oh, Jacqueline's got to go to bed. Oh, oh, somebody's going to bed. Good night, Jacqueline. Thank you so Good much night, for coming. Wah, wah. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. Uh -oh. I know. Laura's amazing, right? I was so impressed. Actually, I got a little disgruntled the other day on Instagram because I saw this succulent account post a video of Laura's um, where she did a sucky pot in a pot and did not credit Laura for it. And I, so I was like... <clears throat> um, I commented on it saying something like, um, this is Laura's from Garden Answer, like, give credit where credit's due sort of thing. And I was really irritated because if, if you take something of someone else's and post it on your Instagram or whatever, at least give the credit. Because yeah. now this account looks stupid. Because they've ripped off, especially somebody like Laura from Garden Answer, who everybody watches, and instantly, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, those are Laura's hands, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you really gotta be given credit where it's due. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people don't mind if you use something that they're doing as long as they are getting the credit for it. Well, yeah, and like, I, I mean, wouldn't. ask or whatever, but they didn't post anything. Like, they could have at least tagged her. Or like, hey, this is anyway. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get all ranty about that because that really irritated me. But okay, let's finish looking at the last couple plants here. Um, sorry. Uh, so I got this little guy. So this is they're calling it an Echeveria moranii. Wink. <clears throat> Wink. So he's kind of cute. So all these succulents, I think, were four ninety nine. Yeah. So those are all going in that pot. I'll do a little video on that. It probably won't be very long. <clears throat> Maybe I'll combine it with like a Q&A or something. And then the last plant that I have um, was one that I was not expecting at all. And this one came from um, Brenda as well, the one I got the Sissus from. And if you've watched my wish list video, again, you know that this was on my wish list. Um, I think it did get a little cold damage, but the plant itself looks good. It looks like it's going to make it. So it's tiny and this poor little sad leaf, but he's got a new one here. So I'm sure you guys know it's a Calathea orbifolia and um, I've been wanting this guy for a while. I'm really hoping that... I can keep it nice and big and gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> I kind of have like plant goals because I drool over Hannah's all the time. And uh, Kaylee has a, an amazing, gorgeous one as well. Actually, I don't think she still has that, to be honest. Um, yeah. Do any of you guys have them? 
Do you like them? Are they high maintenance? Are they fussy? What do I need to know? <laughs> Tell me. Um, <clears throat> easy. Casey says they're easy. Well, that's good. Easy's good. Oh, Maya says that we can haggle with people at Lowe's as well. We should try that. So the price is thirty dollars. Okay, give you ten. <laughs> <laughs> because we all know this plant is only worth ten dollars. Well, that's the thing too, right? Is a lot of them aren't worth, especially if they're like half dead. High humidity. The guy at Home Depot said he'd give it to me for ten, but I want to give you the business because I like you. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, that's pretty much it for my plant haul, and it is almost an hour here. I feel like we should wrap it up. Does anybody have any questions or anything like that before we shut her down? Or Questions, concerns, comments. Anybody want to wish this guy happy birthday again? <laughs> <laughs> Show the tree? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe, do you want to go over that way? And I'll just flip the camera around and do a little walk okay. around. You're like, up. Oh. Up you go. Okay, go that way. Good boy. No, no keep going, no. baby. Go. go. You just, go. He's like, no, I'm sitting right here. Okay. Okay, you take that. Okay. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'll give you guys a little walk around. How about that? Oh, happy birthday, Jordan. Okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank All right, you. how do I spin it? Look at me doing things. Wow. It's like you've done this once. I know, but I haven't. Okay, so... Oh, let me clean my back camera. Hold on. Yeah. You get that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so... Here's all the cacti that I have. So there's little lithops in there. And a little variegated bear paw. And my itty bitty titty cactus. <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Peanuts, please. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Can't wait to see your hair. <laughs> okay, here's some more butt rocks. This is an old lady cactus, as I think it was labeled an old lady cactus. Anyways, it's getting pretty tall, it's actually. Quite a bit this whole chunk is new. Oh wait, you can't see that. This whole chunk right here is new. Um, there's my rainbow hedgehog cactus. Which we searched high and low for. Yeah, that was on my wish list. Um, this is... Oh, bye, Christy! That, happy old day. <laughs> happy old day. <laughs> there is my um, ghost cactus, or ghost euphorbia, sorry. And there's some other ones. Nicole, you can give me a full rundown of what all of these are later, okay? <laughs> Um, I think I was told that that is a blue torch cactus, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is a prickly pear. There's some horthy in there. Uh, an old man cactus, I think is what it was labeled. I think that's a golden barrel cactus back there. I'm not sure. Golden barrel. I don't know. Nothing's labeled right up here either. Like, you know how you guys have, like, plants where it'll be like, beautiful indoor plant. <laughs> Like hello, said, like, hello, like, my name is Beautiful Indoor Plant. Like, that's be, all of our plants here. It'll either be labeled incorrectly or you've been given a general label, like plant. Yeah. Practice. <laughs> There's my Hoyas. This is, like, super cool. Look how red that is. I don't know if you can really see it. That's crazy. Super crimson. Okay, you guys wanted to see... Babe, can you move these chairs so I can show them the tree? <clears throat> I will show you guys the tree, and then I got to get going. I got to work tomorrow, which is a total bummer. <clears throat> Jordan's just moving the chairs. <laughs> okay, so if you can see, I'm going to have to back up. It's a big one. Yoink. Okay. There is... The tree. I don't usually decorate the bottom part of it because a the presents knock off the um, all the decorations, and the dog's tail is like a whip, and it just flies them across the room. There she is. 
Oh, we forgot to put the star on it. <laughs> Whoops. Fail. <laughs> yeah. So there is our tree. It is a seven foot tree. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. It's a seven foot fugazi. What's a fugazi? It's fake. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to flip it back around here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that, that's awful. <laughs> you know, when you like open up your phone camera and then you, you're going to take a picture of something and it's on like your front facing camera and you're like, oh, and you're making this like a face and then it's like the most horrifying thing you've ever seen. I'm going to regret doing that when I watch the replay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so, so, so much for coming to our first live. I hope it was even marginally entertaining. And um, and I hope you like my new plants, and I hope you like Jordan's new plant. I'm making him take care of it. I like Jordan's new plant. <laughs> and thank you all for the happy birthdays. I do appreciate it. Feeling the love. Feeling the love. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I get that glare drives me nuts. And as always, I love you all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, year.